I'm going to teach you how to build a one by one that's pretty concealed in rest. So for the wipe day, I guess. All right. So you want to always put your foundation very low to the ground, as low as possible, like that. So you want to find a pretty flat area for this. All right, you're going to want to put stairs back to that foundation, four of them all around, and connect other foundations to them. All right, now you want to get rid of these stairs. And um, you want to add some new stairs like that. It's perfect. All right. Now you want to take that. Delete all of that at the end. You don't have to, but it just looks better. All right. Now you want to upgrade this stone. That's extremely important. Or else your base might get raided if you don't. Well, no, like someone will crouch into your base, and that's not good. All right, so, um, yeah. Just make your one by one. Make sure to put your walls on top of the foundation, not in between. Uh, and put your staircase. There we go. I usually put stairs here so it's easier. But actually, no, no, no. I'll get to why in a second. I have them here. All right. So now to make sure that your base doesn't get raided by Zerg the first day. All right, I'm gonna make a fake base. So what you wanna do is make a really crappy little base. Uh, looks like someone was building, got jumped. It looks like a new sort of base, so there might not even be much loot. Let's upgrade that and turn the walls on purpose. And I can like, put wood like that. Alright, make sure the foundations are all wood though. One of them is stone so it looks more convincing. You don't have to have a door here, but what I recommend doing for added safety. Whoops. Oh, uh, no, I have to trash something. There you go. Alright, so what I recommend doing is I get a lock and a wooden door. I open it and create a key and just throw the key out. There you go. You can keep the key, but you're probably never going to use it anyway. Alright, it makes it look more convincing. I usually add a second floor to the fake base. So it makes it look a bit more convincing. I add stairs in here. I actually will always add that. And I'm sure to upgrade that. Specifically that, yeah. Uh, I'll put a door here, actually. A wooden door. Doesn't have to be, you know, key locked or anything if you want to put a code on it. But I don't usually do anything. I just leave it like that. You don't have to upgrade that and just put some door frames so if you're like in a bow battle with someone, you're more likely to win. There you go. So I like this place because if you're running home, you don't want to show like a plan that you're you have a little mini base in there running there. I just stay up here and hide and hope for the best, really. I wouldn't lead them back to the main compartment. Alright, don't put your ceiling on yet. We're going to get there soon. Now what you're going to do is take salvaged shelves. Put them there. Alright. So this, this place can hold a lot of storage. Two large storage boxes. And um, three small storage boxes. Here you go. You can make things squeeze in if they don't work at first. Alright, your TC, I usually put it on this side. It's just a lot easier for me. Because <clears throat> I like to jump on the side. Alright. Oh, nothing blocked. Whoops. Authorized. Slowly me. Alright, here we go. I put my furnace there and I will put my I mean, my campfire in between. Let's put that there. Your water purifier in case you don't have one. It's pretty useful, actually. No one really uses it, though. All right. Now, before you add your ceiling, here's the important part. Uh, another storage box and your sleeping bag, because you won't be able to put your sleeping bag on once you put the ceiling. There you go. All right. We're good now.
Alright, so that's basically everything in just one tiny place. Uh, I would put a sheet metal door on here, like so. Because you don't want a wooden door on in case they do find your base. Alright. Another thing I usually do is I put like a storage box here so it makes it look even more unique. It's really all, I mean, it's just a starter base. You could keep it if you're a solo player for the whole wipe and just have fun. I know some people like to just PvP and not worry about their base, just somewhere to store crap. It's, um, it's a pretty good one by one, really. Only downfall is that there's no airlock, so you're gonna have to be careful. I don't, there's no real way to tell unless you listen to footsteps and stuff. Uh, that's it, really. I mean, here's just an overview. I mean, that's how um, a raider would look at it from top and bottom. So, I mean, you tell me, if would you go with the flamethrower there? Or something like, you know, that, for example, if it wasn't that. So, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good design. I mean, uh, I know some people already know about this and they just do it like that. But really, this whole fake base here adds a whole next level. To it, like someone will be able to tell if you just had that in raw form that it's uh, something sneaky going on. This is just a lot better. Alright, that's it. Peace out.